So, initially, my plan was to clean the shop. We did that, but now we're making it a mess again because we decided to do the steering shaft on the ram. Now, of course, I didn't start filming it because I just got into it, but I got the shaft disconnected from the steering box and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Now, in order to get this shaft out, you're literally supposed to separate it down in here. There's a connection point, there's a bolt, but that bolt has no head left on it. So, with all the crustiness in this truck, I'm literally going to cut it right there and we'll pull the shaft out and I'll show you why we're replacing it. Here's the lower half of the factory shaft. Like I said, I just literally just chopped it because uh, that bolt right there has no head left on it. So I wasn't even gonna scream and yell at it and try because we had a whole new shaft anyway. This is the U-joint that connects to the steering box. So let's see. So that's why our steering was so sketchy because that U-joint is completely toast. So now what we're gonna be putting in replacement of the whole thing is this nice Borgeson shaft that will hopefully be a whole lot better. So what we got to do now is drop the truck back down. I got to go inside and pull all of the steering column stuff out, get all that crap undone, and uh, should be able to get the factory one out. All right, so we already got the socket on it, but we got to remove that U-joint right there. And then we're going to pull the whole boot and everything with the top half of the shaft. I keep moving the seat, and it is the funniest thing ever. You just hear bzz, bzz, bzz. But luckily, the boot stayed in there. So we're good. We don't have to mess around with that. We just got to put the outer boot on the new shaft and push it up through, connect it to the steering wheel. So I think we might be good. Alrighty, so the next step in the destructions is to remove this U-joint from the uppermost hollow portion of the shaft. One set screws really long and it goes all the way through. The other set screws relatively short and goes in on the side and holds down on there. Now we need to take this shaft and stick it up through our boot right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in there right now. Okay, right, so it's all set under there. And if you guys can see the blue, that is Loctite. I would highly recommend at least blue Loctite because I'm not sure about you guys, but I enjoy my steering capabilities. So now that we got that all set, it's through the factory boot. We're gonna go underneath this thing and actually uh, install it on the steering, col or the steering box. One of the important parts that they tell you to do is to seat your U-joint on the steering shaft and then create a flat, which I just use my carbide burr to create a little flat spot. You run the screw in, which marks the shaft, and then you make a little flat spot for that screw to ride in. So now we're going to push this all the way down, tighten that set screw, and we'll be good. So that's pretty much it. Steering shaft is installed. Everything is Loctited. Everything is super tight. You can see all the way up there, goes right through the firewall where it should, use the original boot. And we are golden, so now we're going to put the wheel back on, put the wheel well back in, and uh, fire this thing up and see how it steers. Alright, steering shaft is installed, and now I have resistance this entire way. So there's resistance, and there's resistance. There's no more play in the shaft itself, but the play is now in the steering box. And speaking of that, let's talk about that for a minute. So let's get a little light on myself here. As I'm sure you've probably heard in the past, these Dodges are known for steering issues. If you're out there and you're buying a Dodge for its clean, smooth, precise, and tight steering, you're going to be disappointed. These things, especially the Cummins trucks, had very heavy front ends on them. They were prone to death wobble. They were prone to early failure of tie rod ends and ball joints and all kinds of stuff. So there have been many, many people out there that have tried to fix all these steering problems and to no avail because there's kit after kit after kit after ball joint after steering setup. I mean, you can always make it better, but you're never going to get it 
However, when you do find broken components like we found, where there was a U-joint that was completely shot, that just instills a whole new level of fear when you're driving one of these things. I mean, it's bad enough you have to drive them 100% to begin with because they just go where they want. Add in the fact that you've got literally a quarter turn of play in the steering shaft with a bad U-joint that could come apart at any second, and a truck that doesn't go straight when you let go of the wheel, and you have yourself a massive accident. So, I think the total install took probably about an hour, hour and a half, and that's with filming the little bits and pieces that you guys saw. So I would say that if you don't have a lift um, and you're working with minimal tools, give yourself two to three hours to get everything apart, get everything back together, get it all situated. Um, the steering shaft, God, I'm filthy. The steering shaft itself is $239 or something like that, I think, and you can get it pretty much anywhere. I know Extreme Diesel Performance sells it. I got mine from Summit Racing. Um, the part number is 000951, and it should be listed as 03 to 08. Um, Ram 2500 and 3500, and, uh, you know, should fit all of those without a problem. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to take it out on a quick test drive around the parking lot just to see if it's any better, which I'm thinking it's going to be hugely better. So. So that's already massively better than it was before. So now we don't have any real wandering. Alright guys, so the steering feels super solid. And I mean as solid as you can imagine for a Ram. But it's not wandering anymore. The steering wheel doesn't have tons of play in it. You give it input and it actually steers, which is amazing. Here is the actual part number and everything for that steering shaft and as you can see the install instructions are really not all that uh, elaborate here so very easy to install doesn't take too much time and uh, is not very expensive so go pick yourself one up if your steering shaft is shot like mine was and hopefully it'll uh, it'll fix some of the issues and now if I can find the other half which is around somewhere, the half that came out of the cab. There's a section in that that's got a damper in it that's also responsible for the steering feeling very vague and very awkward. Let me see if I can find that. Well, I can't find it, but there's a section right above the U-joint that is designed to take some of the dampening out of the steering so you don't feel all the vibration coming through the steering wheel and those were problematic as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a super quick one. We really gotta get somebody in here to try to help us film a little bit so that we can get some better angles and a little bit more content for you guys. But uh, yeah, so on to the next one. I don't know what it'll be, another Jeep, another Dodge, who knows, but we'll get there. All right guys, have a great night.